All right, Max, hey, they're back here doing TikTok videos. You're a senior now, man. Do whatever it takes to get Gail's rap videos done and good. And make them stop, all right? All right, go. Go do it. All right. I'm gonna teach them a lesson. I'm gonna get them to do gills up. Rick told me to come in here and get you guys uh, on task and actually do gills up, so this is what I gotta do. <laughs> this is gills up, not TikTok. Good morning, LHS. Today is Friday, May 17th. I'm Leah. And I'm Bree. And this is Gail's Rep. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week, the STEM students had their first ever STEM showcase. It was a night where STEM students got to show off their work, including topics from diabetes prevention to coding and robotics. Perfect. Well, this event is the STEM showcase. This is our first time we've ever done this. Uh, we've had kind of a STEM uh, we call it STEM Tank for a little while, but we've changed it up now and instead of having our freshman cohort of 30 uh, be a part of this program, we are stepping it up and now it is the engineering and biomed students and they have a bunch of projects, but this is really just a way for them to showcase what they've done this year. Uh, kind of a general big overview of the whole year all combined into one activity. In engineering, the type of projects that you see here is everything from uh, a device that will automatically balance a kayak uh, while in the water to uh, different examples of elevators to a wind tunnel. Uh, in biomedical science, there have been projects like uh, how diabetes affects pediatric patients, um, even uh, what kind of uh, water quality we have in local fish and streams. So for this project, they've really spent about three weeks, at least the engineering classes have, and that is just the only time that I've given them specifically for this project. But really, we've been building up to this the entire year. They've had a lot of projects kind of as they've gone that have increased in the difficulty and have covered a wide range of topics like bridges, which we have some stuff like that here today, uh, ranging all the way up to the coding projects, which again, we have some here. And uh, then students have taken it even further these last three weeks and really pushed themselves to come up with some really exciting projects. Congrats to the boys baseball team for winning the OCC. My name is AJ Cook and I play right field. I'm Tyler Mutton and I play shortstop. My name is Jake Richards and I play first base and outfield. My name is Lucas Gower and I play outfield. Alright, this is Garrett, this is Spencer, and we're PA. Links for baseball has taught me some important steps of not only having a successful team, but successful steps in life as well. Got that out. Uh, it's just taught me how to be accountable and you know how to work with other people. Langster Baseball has taught me how to overcome adversity and also how to work as a team and not a person. Langster Baseball has taught me how to work hard and win. Uh, my favorite memory would be the dog pile after we beat Upper Arlington in the district final game for sure. Uh, my favorite memory is probably when we beat Gahanna last year in 13 innings. My favorite memory from Lancaster Baseball is our spring trip to Myrtle Beach last year. Hashtag 907. My favorite memory was from this year, when we lost to Pick North and the very next day we beat the Tar Idol. My favorite memory is Run Ruling Grove City 10-0, started off by West Ward's Grand Slam. Mine would be uh, last year, the district semifinals uh, against Dublin Jerome. Uh, I started that game and after four innings uh, we were down and it was pretty much my fault. And then they, uh, there, was a storm, <laughs> there was a storm that hit and uh, we had to go in like the locker room there. And then uh, after we came back out of the locker room, like I was, I was walking back to the field thinking, wow, you really blew it, didn't you, kid? And then uh, I, you know, I was out of the game at that point and then my teammates came back and won it. 
Last week, LHS senior Jesse Brunton thought he was being interviewed for a scholarship, when in reality, this is their way of telling him that he had already won. Okay, uh, well, my name is Jesse Brunton. I'm a senior at uh, Lancaster High School. Um, I've been playing golf ever since eighth grade. Um, it was always baseball and golf uh, for the most part. So share with us, you are going to Mount Vernon Nazarene. Yes. What is it that you're going to do there? I'm going to study secondary mathematics education to uh, become a math teacher. Well, I have to let you in on a little secret. So um, the committee behind me, we're not here just to interview you, but they have chosen you to be this year's scholarship winner. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Josie, and I'm with Dylan today, and we are interviewing Quincy Snap and Aaron Mooney about their SoundCloud music. It's Quincy Snap. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find out about SoundCloud? Well, I was listening to a lot of Lil Uzi Vert, like freshman year of high school, and I was figuring out how he blew up, and he used to be a SoundCloud rapper. I found out about SoundCloud kind of like from Quincy for the most part. All right, what do you like about making music? <sighs> um, what I like about making music is uh, I like the production of it. I like piecing it together. I enjoy writing it. It's like a way to vamp for me. Making music, it's like a way to like express myself and like make it kind of catchy. Rappers usually have a rap name. What is yours? My name that I go by in music is Moody. It's my last name, so and it fits me pretty well because my vibe changes quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> my rap name is my actual name, Quincy Snap. Who inspires you the most musically? Um, person that inspires me the most has to be Lil Peep. Who inspires me musically is definitely Lil Skies and Lil Wayne. And they inspire me because they do crazy things with their vocals. They stretch them with auto-tune and their sound is just completely different. They're like nobody else. And they also get lyrical at times. Where do you see your music career going? Hopefully, I'm all the way to the top. I see my music career going with Quincy, to be real, because I started putting it out with him and we just stay together. So wherever he goes, I go. For the people watching this, when can they expect new music from you? Next time I'm releasing music is May 31st, the last day of school. June 1st, first day of summer. I got you guys. That's all for today. Have a great weekend, LHS.